So guys, today we're going to be opening up a Palafini Xbox. Now I'm going to have to scoot this up so that way you guys can get a beautiful look at the Palafini Xbox. Unfortunately, my desk is a little bit shorter in depth, so we can't push this box that far back. We could put it back like that, but then you'll end up seeing the janky mess that's right behind it with my computer monitor, some cables. It's basically my gaming setup back here, but we got a bunch of plushies. So I'm going to be opening this up today. We're going to check out the contents and we're going to see if you should buy this. Now, give or take these things do retail for, I believe, $20.99 USD. Uh, you could probably find them roughly around $15 to $18 from your local card shops or anywhere trying to move these products because these are collection boxes. And if you guys have historically been part of the Pokemon community, you'll know that collection boxes, uh, boxes, collection boxes just do not do well in terms of like profit margins, especially if the promos are not that playable. Although I have seen some people claim that this is playable. I'm not 100% sure. I've never seen a deck using this, but if if somehow this is playable, that'd be cool to see. But today I'm also going to be doing a giveaway. So if you would like your chance to win those three promos that are featured in this box, the Palafin EX, uh, the Palafin uh, foil card and the Finison foil card, all you got to do is like, subscribe to the channel and comment down below what you think of this box is it worth the twenty dollars and 99 cents price tag check the community tabs in about a week and i'll announce a winner i'll try to add you if i can but if you don't have a youtube channel sometimes it doesn't let me add and if that's the case i will reply to your comment i will try to make sure you are notified that you won but make sure you keep up with the communities tab so that way you have your chance to win all three promotion in this box and you won't even have to buy this box because i guarantee these packs are available elsewhere if you're looking to open up product so with that being said let's go ahead and get into this box now the glue on this box is a little bit on the tough side so i apologize if the uh mic starts picking up all the noise from me trying to rip it open um let's go ahead and get this box out of the way now the first thing you get is your three promo cards all right so we're going to take a look at those i will give away the co-card for the promos here on youtube so if you play the game online, feel free to use that. Enjoy it. Good luck. Anytime I open up a product, particularly for YouTube, I will make sure that we give away everything that we um, have in terms of like codes, anything like that. Um, if it is a Twitch stream VOD that is transported over, I will give those away on Twitter. So you can follow me on Twitter slash X if you want more chances at codes. So you get the Palafin EX. I believe this is just a promo version of the Palafin EX that we've seen in the previous set. So pretty cool. You get Hero Spirit and Giga Impact. That's not too bad. Then you get a Cosmo foil version of Palafin from Twilight Masquerade. Really cool art where it's got the zero to hero ability, which I believe is the only way to evolve into this. Really cool card. And then you get a very beautiful Finizen. I love this artwork on the Finizen. This is the Twilight Masquerade Finizen. Beautiful Cosmo foil. Look at that. So with that being said, there are the three promos. Once again, I am giving these away. Make sure you follow the instructions at the beginning of the video. I will go ahead and put a penny sleeve on these. So that way they are all well protected. Now, you also get a jumbo card. Uh, if you're a jumbo collector, this thing sparkles greatly. But if you're not a jumbo collector, this might not be a product or an item you really care for. I usually just keep these in a storage box somewhere because I don't have a binder or anything to collect those. And then your pack selection, which I think is going to be the thing that gets most people interested. What packs do you get out of here? I actually really enjoy this pack selection. So you obviously get two Twilight Masquerades. They are a little bit on the bulkier side. It feels like there's more cards than what's supposed to be in here. But it might just be the wrapper itself. But you get two Twilight Masquerades, the newest set. You get a Temporal Forces, which there's a lot of great cards you can collect from Temporal Forces. Raging Bolt EX is one of them. So that would be a cool card to pull. And then you get Obsidian Flames. I will never complain about Obsidian Flames. I am a firm defender of, of Obsidian Flames. Obviously, a lot of people will say this could have been Paldea Evolved, especially with the way the market is right now. And I agree, Paldea Evolved would have been a better set. But overall, I think Obsidian Flames is still a decent set. I think overall, it's a pretty good pack selection. Now, the pool rates on these 
base sets. This has got really great pull rates in terms of how often you can pull an SIR. These not so much. So we might not have a great pull today with four packs, but I'm gonna start off with Obsidian Flames. Every time I open up Obsidian Flames on stream, it tends to do me justice. I think I pulled an SIR every time I've opened it up on stream. So if you did not catch the stream on Thursdays at about four to 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, I stream here on YouTube and on Twitch. So we're gonna start off with a Magnemite. That's a nice reverse foil. A Floatzel, so unfortunately no SIR or IR from this set. I would have loved to have pulled that beautiful, um, what you call it? That beautiful uh, Caesar. That's the card I'm chasing from that set. But unfortunately we did not get that. Now we're gonna move on to, by the way, there went that code. But we're going to move on to Twilight Masquerade now. Twilight Masquerade is a set that has a lot of cards I would love to pull from it. Uh, SIR Perrin is probably my top chase from this set. Um, you also have some of the full arts in the set that I would love to pull as well. You got the beautiful Dry Cloak, which is a great reverse. I think this is one of the best reverses you can pull from the set. Reva Room and Enamorous. So unfortunately... Nothing but a Drake Cloak there, but the Drake Cloak is pretty playable, so that is a great card to pull if you're going to pull um, something that is not a hit, especially not a textured hit, because that card actually has better value than some of the uh, uh, cards that you can pull from uh, the EX slot, so it's a really good hit. Beautiful Laron. This is an amazing artwork, by the way. Lucky Helmet. Mighty Enna. Iron Bundle, Hassle, come on. Unfortunately, just a nose pass. I do like it though, because it is Akira Agawa, who is my favorite artist in the TCG. And another Enamorous, wow. Talk about some bad hits. All right, last pack, Temporal Forces. Can Temporal Forces give us something great? Let's see. Let's see if we can end on a banger. Unfortunately, we are doing pretty poor right now, but we're gonna see if we can get something good from Temporal Forces. At least one hit is all I'm asking. S-I-R, I-R. Full art, something. Unfortunately, no S-I-R, just a Curvana. And it looks like we're just gonna end on a regular EX. I don't, maybe Raging Bolt would be okay because I know Raging Bolt's playable. I believe Gengar EX is okay. But for regular EXs, there's not much in this set that I would hope to pull. So, Iron Leaves EX. That's okay. <laughs> when this set released, this was actually a really good EX to get because it was believed to be highly playable. Um, but it's kind of dropped in value pretty drastically, especially with the 10 promo version of this card now. Just really doesn't have much value. Unfortunately, that is our only hit today. Four packs. Retails for twenty dollars. Let's say let's just give it a fair price of fifteen dollars. Let's say you spent fifteen dollars. Would you feel that this was worth your fifteen dollar purchase? I would say no, but I did have a lot of fun opening it. I got really hyped when I seen the shine, hoping that we got something good, and it does have a decent pack selection, which I do enjoy. So let me know down in the comment section below what you think about this product. Is it a pass? Is it a gas? Should you buy it? Should you avoid it? Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. And remember to like and subscribe for your chance to win these set of promos from this box. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.